GoPro on, so I was like, all right, I'm just riding around. And I'm just seeing these two. <laughs> but like, every time we go down the straightaway after the finish, like, hey, hey, hey. I was like, yo, what's going on? I was like, oh, he's still there? I was like, oh, that pressure, boy. Rick's got him on that pressure. <laughs> Today, uh, we're doing media stuff for Feld. This is kind of like a little breakdown, like whenever we do like little intermissions for the commercials and stuff. So um, it's always, we do it every year, but it's always good just to see and meet up with some people. And we talk to a lot of different guys that, that put on the show. Cause again, this is a show. So uh, just kind of everybody who kind of helps out behind the scenes and stuff like that. So we just want to kind of give our thank you to them before the season starts. Cause everybody knows once the season starts for us, it's kind of everything that's moving like that. So we just kind of want to say a like, quick little thank you to those guys and kind of talk, chat with those guys, of course. One of the main guys just passed right by. He didn't even speak to me, man. That's cool. Hey, Mike, man, what's up, Mike? Hey, we here, man. Hey, I'm, you know. No, you see, see how that goes. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I was like, we're talking to some important people. I'm like, oh, there he goes, right there. I am Kat Kesmerick. I'm the operations manager for Supercross, and we're putting on media sessions here at Angel Stadium prior to the 2023 season. We're capturing a lot of great content. Um, Riders here. Gonna go get some awesome hero shots um, with our NBC crew. They'll use some bumpers for TV. We get sit down interviews. St. Jude is here, so we gather some photos and videos for them. Media training. There's a million things. It's a great day. The only way I've learned by hitting the woods fast is by crashing through them. That's how I learned, is by making a lot of mistakes. So, um, Kids, I promise. I, I, the reason why I'm, I'm re the stewards are really good in the whoops because we had a lot of crashes through them. Thank you, Malcolm. Everything good? Good off season? Yeah, no, no, it's pretty good. good. Yeah. You guys so still in your training camp, right? Yeah. 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 So you guys are still around Christmas? Yeah, yeah. 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 you know, right around Christmas, they cut the right. papers off. And that's part of the next two. Oh, yeah. Year? Sweet, dude. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you, my man. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll see you in a couple weeks. We'll see you in a couple. That's right. Have a good Christmas. You too, man. Thank you, buddy. Yes, sir. Trying. I feel like I went to like eight different stations already. I still got like five more to go to. I know. And then hands on hips like a man smile. See we're looking. Yeah, smile. Yeah, smile. All right. We can throw the. We can put the helmet down for a minute. So far, we've done like five or six different stops already, and it's cool though. Like you know, you dedicate a full day, and these guys you know do a good job of setting everything up and moving you pretty fast but you get kind of lost because now you're you're like how many more stations you got to go and you're trying to hurry up and get out of here <laughs> but it's that's part of the process and uh now we're heading to probably one of the most important ones is the commercial so whenever whenever you do good hopefully you know you win the race and they actually get to show me on tv doing something cool Of those. I'm going to say one more of those, like a bunch of these. Yeah, he lies a lot. And go for it. Howdy, Arlington. Howdy, Arlington. Arlington, we're here. Arlington, we're here. Daytona, we're back, baby. Daytona, we back, baby. What's up, Indianapolis? What's up, Indy? Uh, Let's do one more arm wave and finish into the camera, okay. pointing at the crowd. Like, your turn. Wow. Nice. <laughs> That's a wrap. Cool. You're done. Awesome, man. You got, a, you got a fishing sponsor? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, Abby Garcia. Stoked. That's awesome, dude. Is that, uh, is that it? That's it. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Thanks, right. Malcolm. Thanks for coming. Appreciate that. Guys, thank you. Thank you. you ready for me? Yes, we I've been coming to this Anaheim since 2002. Like, that's a very long time. Um, you know, it, it's just cool to see that process and, and I can say one thing, the stadium ain't changed, it's still the same. It's still, still the same, maybe a few different logos here and there, but other than that, it's, it's just cool to see, to, to, be, to be here still racing, still active, and you know, that finally, at one point, my brother's in the stands watching me, and like I said, when I first came out here, I was watching him, so. I was nine years old when I first came in this stadium. And I'm 30 years old now, so <laughs> that's a long time. <laughs> to be coming here um, rooting, but you know, like I said, I still feel like I'm, I'm a fan as it is, whether it's in the stadium or in the, in the stands or not. Um, 
It's just cool to be here inside the stadium. It's been a long week out here. We did a lot of media stuff yesterday, so I thought that was really cool. And then Tuesday, um, we had like the team intro, uh, introducing the new new motorcycles, new people around and stuff. So that's been um, fun. So it's been a long week and coming from an East Coast boy, being on the West Coast and gaining an extra three hours, I've been up at like four o'clock every morning. So by the time we actually need to ride and do our job, it's, uh, I'm already over it <laughs> in a low key way. So. I was the first uh, 20 today and feel good. I'm happy to be out here around uh, around some good people and stuff like that. So. For us, this you know we got about what three four weeks before a one starts and it's almost like the last little push I would say in, in cardio and a little bit of testing and stuff all the development that that maybe you know a lot of people don't understand is we'll start testing stuff around October uh, when we start back riding and then we have to kind of recirculate once we get up to speed because you know it takes a little bit to get the speed going and stuff like that and we kind of kind of do a little circle and make sure all the stuff that we said yes to in October is not going to be a failure around this time so um, now we're going to test a little bit of suspension, a little bit of uh, chassis stuff, and try to finalize a little bit. We go back to Florida. We spend those next three weeks in Florida, and dial, uh, and pretty much from there is what you have. What we leave from here is what we pretty much have. So um, the team may come out one more time within the next three to four weeks, just a quick little checkup. Um, and then hey, we're here at A1, and the season starts. Yeah. To me, it looks it looks a little. Saggy? So, yeah, a little. A little, little you know, I've never felt any difference. Maybe a little bit. harder getting over some stuff. Yeah, I'm like just talking like on. a half a turn. Like raise it up. Okay. Or we leave it. We can try. Yeah, it's not a big change. Is it touchy? Um, sensitive? Like initial touch? Yeah. I think I was just driving because I was a little. Yeah. Like you kind of feel a little. But let's try that. We'll see. do a couple starts and then um, try uh, something in, something with the front end and see if I could uh, feel it. Sometimes they throw me a little Easter egg and see if I can kind of feel it. But that's part of testing. I was telling him I think with this package I think it's a little too much hit on the rear from there off the initial um, yeah well it looks like too maybe you know you're going pretty low rpm which i know you're doing that because you want to 
control it, right? Yeah. But if you get a little bit of tension and like let the, the tension go a little bit more RPM, but let the tension on your your chain, you know, with your friction of your clutch, bring the RPM down. Like obviously you want that burst out of the gate, but I think it's it's kind of from all. I mean, from nothing to just right now, and it's just hard for you to control. Right. Just try a little tension to see see if it helps. Okay.